So I think. All right. So this is Crown of Ex Crown of Extinction. Uh, the four horses. <laughs> so let's get started. Oh boy. So I'm guessing this was made on RPG Maker. Oh my gosh, I am a tiny dinosaur. What is? I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. All right. Well, it said that on the internet, so we may as well take that at face value. Anyway, I'll start recording now. Welcome to Not That Kind of Roleplay, the podcast where we delve into the more stranger world of gaming. I'm Braveheart. I'm Big Mac. I'm Whiskey Deadshot. And I'm Drumming Bird. This week's said, Here, let me give them voices. This week's episode has actually taken us out of town to investigate the myster mysterious case of Coffin Tree. I actually just thought this was a creepypasta until we found a copy. Weird backstory about this board game. Some say it's actually used fragments from a witch's coffin. Don't forget the leaf cutter killer also used it to target victims in the newspaper classifieds in the 80s. I mean, sure. Let's believe everything on the internet now. Anyway, let's get started. For the folks at home who can't see, can you guys describe the pieces and what we have? Board, booklet, dice, cards, and four-player pieces. There is a clown, a dragon, a wolf, and a... Is this a bat? It's a crow. In the player booklet, it says here, A virtual reality game wiped out the planet in the year 2084. Use your avatars to navigate the hollow. Okay, here's everyone's pieces, Braveheart. You roll first. The booklet says the clown player goes first, actually. Lucky? <laughs> what was that a question? <laughs> Here I am. Looks like a tropical holiday. Just warm island. So what did you say? So what did they say about Coffin Tree being cursed? I don't know why she's going into that voice. Something, something about you don't play with points, but with pieces of your soul. The game has a reputation for being able to be used to talk to the dead. Oh my god, where'd they go? Oh, that was the radio. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. It looks like this cassette tape is jammed. Wait, was that the radio? That is not it. Okay. So I'm not really sure what that was. Because I thought they were... I found a photo. Is that the seed vault? Wait, how do I... Do I have, like, an inventory? Oh, man, I hope I didn't just stop recording. Nope, I'm still recording. Okay. I have a set... Oh found another photo. What in the world is this? Diaries, language unknown. Looks like computer codes. Why am I a dinosaur? Surgical textbooks. That is a weird, like, mix of things. <gasps> I'm in a fireplace. Handful of dry leaves in the fireplace. Okay, I guess that means I can light it on fire. An old creepy painting. Alright. So, so far, I'm just a random dinosaur. You can pair... You, you can a pair of red and black eyes looking in. I guess there's a missing word. You can see a pair of red and black eyes looking in. Let's go outside. Nice. Ooh, it's snowy outside. Pleasant. All right. Oh, even farther. <gasps> Hello, everyone. I am a dinosaur. Harvesting data to bring someone back from the dead has never been more simple. Heck, heck, even me up here standing on stage is due to Xenovore's Effigy Hologram Tech. My plane is still delayed in Sweden, but what about something that has never left such an imprint? What about something that is so old, its fossil DNA has extinguished? As a result of our predictive analytics, quantum computing, and artificial intelligence, we bring you a creature which has been extinct for over 40 million years, introducing the Protoceratops, or as we, or as we nickname the little guy at the office, King Lazarus. Our mastery over XVR quantum computing is now absolute. Soon we shall rule the galaxy. We can now rewrite the universe. Oh my god, I was, I was actually really close. We can now rewrite the universe. So I'm a dinosaur that they brought back to life. Oh, do not remove your XVR headset. All right. So wait, am I in the game those people were talking about? Or no, because they were playing a board game. So wait, but the, I'm so confused. What is happening? There's a lot going on here. Ducks! In association, association with Basilisk Lodge. 
developed by Professor Brink. Okay, so this is the opening credits of the game. I think this is gonna based on the story, the chasm in the cat, the chasm in the castle by something. I couldn't went too fast. All right, so yeah, there's an opening scene. All right, so I guess this game is actually gonna be longer than I thought it was. So this was supposed to be part two in a series, but I might or part two in in a video. And I saw when the lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, come and see, and I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering, and to conquer. Alright, cool. Crown of Extinction, the four horses. Am I supposed to have a VR headset for this? I hope not, because I do not own one. I am p, -p poor Oh my god, I'm so confused. Impressive! You successfully resisted Coffin Tree's mind control effect. You are ready to apply for your rank as a doomsday- What is going on?! There's too many switching genres here! You need to pass four exams concerning the apocalyptic elementals. Be warned that these tests are lethal in design, so it is important to save progress in the study hall. We use a very special quantum overclocking code, which keeps time in this simulation frozen. So I'm in a simulation that will not stop the exams from testing your endurance. What is going on? This arrow leads to the study hall. Remember, it is important that you are prepared before you begin the exams. So I'm going to guess that those things have to do with my exams. Oh, it looks like you forgot to include shadows for the door. Before the doomsdays, people used virtual reality for fun. Do you think they have a new VR would become the deadliest weapon ever created? From the inside and from the outside, Coffin Tree began dragging players into its curse. Across the ruins of our destroyed planet, Coffin Tree is crossing into our world. I am so confused. Not take any books from here. We are watching. Okay, scary shadow lady? It's going to take a wild guess. Welcome to the study hall. We have all sorts of data. What is with those shadow creatures? The things hanging around the castle. They are called Necroth. The Grand Master of Shadow Rose Temple reprogrammed some glitches to protect this place. I think they are here to spook people in the studying harder. Alright. Uh, where is the save point? It's the giant machine behind me. They are very precious and rare devices. They bend time and space to help people study longer. Alright. What should I learn first? Take your pick, but the teacher at the back of the hall has the best advice. Everyone else is off-duty. Lazy, lazy. They should study. Where is the first exam? I think the path will clear once you brush up on- oh, okay. So it's not until I learn something that- Okay. So... Oh! Ooh! Mmm! Mmm! Delicious dots! Mmm! Mmm! That's delicious! Fighting against Coffin Tree is scary. I like how her <laughs> sprite hair does not match her image hair. <laughs> but being able to transform into our player avatars is awesome. Fighting against... What? I'm so flippity fra fracking confused. The four apocalyptic elementals. They are viruses which heralded the awakening of Coffin Tree and signaled the start of the reality crash. War, plagues, famine, and death. Ha <laughs> ha ha, that's clever. I'm so freaking confused, though. This this player is offline, so I'm in a virtual reality world right now. And I'm playing as a Triceratops? This player is offline. This player is offline. Oh, so that's what he meant by a lot of the teachers are not here. I know those things have been programmed to protect us, but they are too shadowy. <laughs> okay. This player is offline. A lot of interesting looking people, though. Do not take any books. Okay, it appears that I can't interact with those. Yeah, okay, so it looks like this is the only person here. If you were any more late to class, I would die of thirst and dehydration. Hold shift to run, arrow keys to move. Enter keys. Glitchers are cybernetic demons which have overwritten a player's soul. They will follow you in a straight pattern, usually. Glitchers take many forms. Coffin Tree controls them like chess pieces. Coffin Tree cannot predict your moves, but it will try and use complex algorithms to use the glitchers to trap you. You may be able to figure out the moves Coffin Tree lays out. 
but it's also going to take a bit of luck as well to pass the exam. Speaking of which, access has been granted to the first exam. Go away, I need to prepare the lesson for when you respawn again. Okay, yeah, that's that sounds great. So I guess let's say, sure. Okay. Those or these orbs are called soft lights. They're a form of antimatter. It's all around us and inside everything, but when it is in a physical form like this that we can't, like, like this, that we can, that is when we know, we sort of have a problem here. Particles are always passing through each other like a vibration. Antimatter is in a stationary form like this means a dimension has been ripped apart or time and space is damaged. Do you, you think if you can find enough of these, you could change the way our timeline goes? Anything could happen. Oh, that's right. I have to collect all of these orbs. I, I remember the description said something about that. There's alternate endings to this game, depending on how I play. Access denied. Okay. Enter the first exam. War. All right. Yeah, let's do it. You can save your game here, but it will lock you into the dun dungeon. Oh god! Oh, I didn't realize this was a. Ha! I get it. Try to Okay, I didn't realize that was it. You didn't warn me! You, you didn't warn me! What am I supposed to do? You didn't warn me about nothing. Alright. Keep in mind, this facility has a variety of safety. Ah! Ha ha! Gotcha. Oh god, no, the UN wants another inspection. What else? Code Dark matter contamination leak like there was at Swarm Island. Wait, what? Swarm Island was the thing that one guy talked about in the... Frick. Frick. Ha ha. Boom shakalaka. Okay. Thank you, scary demon that looks like a baby in a sprite. Oh, wait, what? So... Oh. Oh, what? <sighs> Let's try this again. I don't know if I'm supposed to interact with those at all. I'm guessing I'm not supposed to touch. Oh God! Oh, that does not look friendly at all. Ooh, what is that? I actually just thought this was a creepy pasta until we found a copy. Oh, this is the guy! Oh my God! Okay, he exploded. Oh, what? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, man, that was close. Holy crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Frick! Frickity, frackity. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, let's try this one more time. And after that, I'm out of time. So, yeah, I'm going to have to make this into its own series, I think. Holy crap, this takes some very careful maneuvering. <laughs> Hello, creepy dragon thing. Okay, I gotta be super... Oh, no! Let's try one more time, because I think I gotta exit out some stuff anyway. All right. Let's go this way. Let me grab all these first. Damn it! I saved in this dungeon and now I'm locked in. There must be something I'm missing. Alright. Yep. I don't know why he freaking exploded, though. So those two are the people. Hey, come on, you jerkwads. Come get me. Come on. What? Come on. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'm out of tries. All right, so it seems I'm going to have to make this into its own series because this is going to take longer than I thought. So I hope you guys enjoyed part one. I'm just going to skip past that because that's loud. But this so far is really fun and I'm interested to see how this goes. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one. Keep your jackets green.